What's going on, fellas? Today we're building an anode basket, and we're going to refine some e-waste in a process called reactive electrodialysis. This is going to be awesome. Here we are. 23 centimeters long, 13 centimeters wide, 6 centimeters thick. Alright guys, here's the material we're going to be loading into the anode basket. There's about 4,500 some grams here. Let's do this. This is going to be awesome. Alright guys, we're doing the second phase of the test here. This is the maiden voyage. We have a very large anode basket in place this time. With a huge amount of material in there. That is about 4,400 grams of material. I don't know how well you'll be able to see any of this. Very big chunks of stuff in there. We've got a cathode plate there and a cathode plate there. All right, guys, just got her fired up. We're at 85 degrees Fahrenheit, coming up to temperature. One volt, 13.5 amps. Solution is in place. All right, fellas, take note of how cloudy this solution is. We're gonna come back to this in about three hours and observe the effects of the carbon filter. It will be circulating about 12 liters per minute that entire time through the carbon filter. I'd hate to touch this thing right now. I don't have any gloves, but Within minutes, it's already got a big coating of copper on there. This one's getting blasted with a jet of electrolyte, so it's probably going to look different than the other one. Yeah. Kind of hard to see the sludge at this point. But it's in there. All right, as you can see here, we've got a nice circular rotation of the electrolyte. The color's already clearing up from the carbon filter. So I'm definitely kind of liking that. This is the flow rate we're running at there. That's probably about uh, around 16 liters per minute, I think. So we've got a good circular rotation of our electrolyte. Everything's looking good so far. Okay, fellas, we're like 18 hours in here. I wanted to show you this piece of metal that is completely just deflagrating apart. Look at that. See how it's just being eaten away? The copper is just being pulled out of it. That big old cone is just flaking apart. I wish you could see it the way I see it. I'm getting a really crystal clear image of what's going on down in there. These pieces here are not so much yet. Perhaps there's just not enough energy in there to do it all at once. But that piece there is definitely getting just devastated. A lot of anode sludge getting made in this thing for sure. So it's interesting to note that more reactions happening up top then down below, we're going to pull a cathode out and take a look. One of my cathodes has fallen down into the tank. You see I have this one propped up, but this one has fallen. So we'll take a look at that one first. It looks like we've got some really nice copper on there. And wow, look at that. That is like pristine copper. And I don't even have any hydrochloric acid in here because I'm out. Wow. Okay, I gotta do it. I gotta pull this other one out. This is just too cool. Oops. Dude. It's like shining like a crystal. 
Nothing happening on the back. That's what I want to see. Wow! Unbelievable. I wish you guys could see this luster. Guys, that is crystals. That is right where the turbulence is hitting the plate. So there's an odd effect taking place there. I have shiny copper deposits. And I have no brightener in here whatsoever, guys. I have no brightener. I have no carrier. I have no leveler. No hydrochloric acid. Man, that is incredible. I am very pleased. What's up, fellas? We're back here with this e-waste refinery and we are doing the anode basket test. And we've been running for 21 hours. I'm gonna go ahead and extract the cathodes for examination and I'm going to harvest the copper because I believe at this point, it's probably pure copper on there and we're getting farther into the electrohydrodialysis process to where we will start to have iron that's trapped in the solution form onto the plates. It may already have a little bit of iron on it, but I wanna stop it now and tally this machine up and see how it's doing. The hydrodialysis is taking place in here. We have an anode basket. You can see that uh, big old cone mold ingot. It's just flaking apart into pieces there. Some of the other ones haven't started yet. But the uh, copper production, when I seen it earlier, was absolutely beautiful. I mean, the crystals were shining. Look at that. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and stop this thing and take a look at it. Because there's just a lot of cool stuff going on in here. That is so cool to see that ingot being digested. I don't know how well you guys are picking this up. Trying to zoom in here. That is just too cool. The other pieces aren't quite flaking too bad yet. That one there is pretty good, looks like. That one's just really falling apart. So, let's take this bad boy apart. We are going to avoid messing with that anode basket right now. That's just going to be the grand finale. Give you something to look forward to in the next couple of days here. This miserable planet that we live in. Okay. Let's see what we've got here. This cathode is just looking brilliant. I'm in, I'm in awe. I'm shocked that we got this kind of performance. I don't have any modifiers in this solution, you guys. None. We got a little bit of crystal growth there. But that's because I didn't have my edge pieces put on. Just trying to get the acid off of this. So yeah, I am just shocked at that. The other one's even cooler looking. You can actually see shiny crystals on this, guys. I don't know if you're picking that up or not, but I'm seeing crystals that actually sparkle. I would imagine that the oxygen in the air is probably gonna mess this up pretty quick. Maybe if we put them bad boys on. All right, where's my water bottle? Oh, wow. The crystals on this one are even more prominent. This is the one that's getting hit with high flow. I like how there's not a lot going on on that back side. That helps my calculations out, my energy density calculations. Just trying to clean all the acid out of this so it doesn't start doing a bunch of weird stuff to it. I almost want to paint this thing and decorate my wall with it. Freaking wow. My luck you guys can't see this. I am seeing like shimmering gold, you guys. I kid you not. That is shimmering. See if we can find a light. 
that doesn't just mess this camera all up. Wow! Incredible that that is so glittery like that. I really hope you can see it. It's just awesome. There's quite a bit of copper on this thing. It's very heavy. And like I said, I don't have any additives in here. This is just straight up. And for it to do this well, I'm really pleased. So we're done testing copper electroplating at this point. What we're going to do now is we're going to harvest this copper. And then I'm going to crank this machine up to reactive hydrodialysis death. I'm like, I'm going to run this thing at like 5 volts and just devour the material but first wow man i hope you guys can pick this up i am getting like glitter for days right there is where the jet stream was hitting it wow. freaking jewelry so there's the first piece really nice really nice so we're gonna throw that on the scale here in a minute all right if you're still here wow that is too cool man the crystals on that real nice color on the back of this piece this was the high flow piece it's still gonna have some acid on that back side i'm gonna want to wash off with some distillio water don't ever spray these off with uh tap water i did that one day and they turn white <laughs> like some kind of ion exchange process took place man i'm not kidding you it was terrible okay let's weigh this up let's get you in the shot get this scale going here okay Dude, we got like a hundred times more copper with the same amperage this run that we did the other day. All this job, well, 340 some grams there. 344 grams of copper, 346 in 21 hours. And this is some pretty high grade looking stuff, man. Them crystals are just amazing. Pretty freaking cool. So. Getting ready to fire this bad boy back up. These are wholesale test ribbons I made, each representing a square centimeter of surface area that I used to zero in on the optimum current density for this particular electrolyte blend. Looks like freaking jewelry. And it's got such a nice sparkle to it. Oh, that is so awesome. The camera ain't doing it any justice. Okay, so anyway, here's the plate. For reference, it's about how big that is. And wow, are those crystals amazing. They're just so shiny is what I'm saying. I'm seeing some actual, like, gold leaf. Pick it up. No, that ain't helping none either. I'm having some lighting issues. I'm not a photographer. 